Welcome to today's 3D print. I got a lot of goodies. I'm going to clear this table and I'll be right back. So, what we've made here is Bullet Bill. Hmm. That needed a little more support there, but it'll be okay. That's on the inside, so I don't care. Hmm. I wonder did it shift? No. Oh, the infill changed. Interesting. As usual, Simplify 3D's infill comes right off. You know, this one was a little rough on the underside, but not bad. Still came out pretty good. This is the Chompers. A bullet bill. So bullet bill comes in multiple pieces. So these is the eye with the pupil. They insert into each other. Assuming I did it right. Yep. Hmm. That one's a little tough going in there. I'll have to work on that one. This one went in pretty good. There we go. So that gets you the eye. And then I believe these will go into here. How does that insert? Not that way. Oh, I see. Okay, it just goes in like that. I think. Yep. Ah, isn't that cool? So it does just insert into there. Okay. I wasn't sure how well these are going to fit together with all different filaments and different printers. <laughs> I'm, I'm now realizing that was probably not the smartest idea in the world, but um, I think only these were on a different printer. The rest was on the CR-10. But here's the main body, which is actually big enough to wear as a helmet. <laughs> My face is a little too big and this hurts your nose, but um, a smaller head fits in there like a helmet. That's pretty cool. I might have to make a, a, a bullet bill helmet just because... Now, from what I gather, this goes in here, and you gotta, I believe I need to line up, there's a lip there, which I think is to help you line up bits, that looks okay, then I think the, the back threads on. body, bullet bill here, and the eyes, how do they go, not that one, that one, and go in there, oh yeah, I think that's it, I'm not sure if that's fully inserted or not, but it looks good, hmm, I didn't realize there was that much depth to this model. That's pretty cool. There, now it's in. <laughs> ah, just broke it. It's okay. He goes back in there. Okay. So now we have Bull Bill's eyes. Now, here's the big question. Will his teeth fit? I think this is the top teeth. Maybe. Or, nope, I think that's bottom teeth. Yeah, that's bottom teeth. I think it's bottom teeth. Pretty sure this is top teeth. Yep. 
that is the one set of teeth. Now this one's going to take a little more work. This one, the print goofed up a little bit. it. I got my bullet bill. <laughs> that is cool. The only real screw up is um the inside of the B didn't stick on bill there. Just the, the two inserts they didn't stick. I wasn't reprinting this for that because it otherwise came out fantastic. The nozzle was a little too high here you can see there. Hmm. Now this is very um light. Um, the, this, the top part's actually pretty heavy and uses several different filaments. They kept running out of black. Um, but uh, it's very, you can push in on it. You could crush this if you push too hard. I wanted to lighten the amount of filament it used. And of course, I had the, the top layer issue right here. But um, that's my choice for settings. This has like 2 or 3% infill, very, very little infill um, to try to keep it light on filament. Otherwise, we'd use a gargantuan amount of filament. But holy crap, that thing is awesome. <laughs> that really is pretty cool. How big is this thing? It is... Uh, just over 40 millimeters tall. 40 centimeters tall, I'm sorry. And of course it is as wide as my printer would print which was the limiting factor. It is 290 millimeters across. So 29 centimeters by um, 40.5 centimeters. Um, this was using multiple filaments. Um, one of these is Tech Orbits Black. One of these this part here and this part here is a tuxedo black that I got with that hundred dollar one how when I bought it used. Um, this is 3D Solutech real black and it is pretty cool it's a nice black. Um, the red is Tech Orbits red that video I posted about the cheap Tech Orbits um, filament that's the Tech Orbits red and the white is the Tech Orbits white the really cheap white that I found it was like it's like eleven ninety nine a kilo when it was on sale get rid of some of the little edge marks on the teeth. Probably should have cleaned it up before assembling it, but I was impatient. Let's, let's screw it. <laughs> let's put it together. But um, yeah, it came out pretty nice. It took longer than I thought to print um, the teeth, so the time lapse for that one's going to be pretty long. That's right. I got time lapse for almost all of this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, the model is absolutely fantastic. It does need some tweaking in the slicer to make it assemble properly. If you want to use light infill. If you just crank up the infill, then it doesn't really matter. But I didn't want to crank up the infill. I want to keep the infill light. So to do that, you've got to play with multiple processes to do it. But very, very cool. I like this thing a lot. The teeth definitely need a little more infill, you can see. The layer isn't quite adhering properly because there wasn't enough support underneath of the um, the top layer. So I, I should have increased the number of layers and increased the amount of support uh, infill infill inside the teeth. But the rest of it I got away with very light infill, and the result was a pretty light model. What well, goes this way? I could probably weigh it. Get the scale out, turn the scale on. 
uh, just realized I'm not going to be able to see the screen. So we'll do him bullet down. He is 1.6 kilograms. So I was able to print a 408% bullet bill on 1.6 kilograms of filament, not including the support. Which adds another 160 grams. So that's um, 1.76 kilograms of plastic to print your own bullet bill. I really should have gone to about 1.8 kilograms, increasing the infill in these teeth. This teeth printed fine, but the um, the bottom teeth needed more infill, and then I needed to increase my infill at this point here where the um, the bullet flattens out and plateaus. When it joins together that needed a little more infill probably can't see that's black but this layer right here i needed more info below that so it probably would have been an optimal mass ratio would have been about 1.8 kilograms of plastic but i think i actually could have lightened the amount of plastic i used to build the main body and it came out exceptionally well i probably could have used less infill for that uh, but yeah very cool model now i think i want to try to print a tiny one just for the hell of it just to see I like to have a little tiny bullet bill next to the big bullet bill, and we'll see what it does. Check out the links below for my Patreon page and the Amazon affiliate links for the filament used to build this. Also, um, for the printer, either on Amazon or on GearVest. And afterwards, take a look at the time-lapse videos. They will play right after this.